Hey guys, and welcome back to more Legend Zelda Scoured Sword with Full Boy V5 in the last part. Oh, I really don't want to go over it again. But I had a power cut at the end of the episode. Luckily, it was at the end of the episode, but actually, no, it's sort of lucky and unlucky. Because if it was in the middle of the episode, I wouldn't have uploaded. And if it was at the end of the episode, it's a good thing I recorded it, but I'd have to do it all again, which I have done, and I've got back up to the point where we were. Exactly. So, yeah, that's how much I love you guys. I had to endure all that bloody fuss again. Although, actually, I did it in one take, and it wasn't too bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, here's the Stone of Trials, where we were last time. I finished reading off the sentence, so let's get on with it. Um, also, off screen, I went ahead and drew that arrow for that Goron in the sealed grounds. He actually wanted an arrow this time, and I did it right, so I ended up getting the last piece of heart off screen, so I'll post that on here now. Sorry, I've been putting like little text bios for them uh, for the last few parts I've got. I forgot to. But yeah, there we go, we've got all the pieces of heart. Anyway, though, congratulations, Master. You have passed all the trials. The Stone of Trials you just obtained is actually one of a pair, Master. Another similar object of a mark, just like the one you you hold, exists somewhere on this island. Combining two should open the way to the Triforce. I suggest that you search for that matching stone. Well, it'd be really helpful if you could help me dials for it, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, we've got 20 hearts here, both life medals, uh, f f 5 empty bottles. The only medal we haven't really got is that one that I haven't bought from Beatles, because it's fucking pointless. I actually caught a scale of Mantis off screen as well. Um, so yeah, fill up all the bugs, all the treasures, all of the um, side quest items, um, and we've filled up all the quest status screen. Because now, uh, the, once you've got all the pieces of heart, see, it says that, and it stays a full heart. Got the wallet, um, yeah, we've got everything really, so yeah, that is basically 100% in the game. Um, but, of course, we have to finish the story off now. I forgot I was going to say that. I, lost my, I lose my track of thought sometimes, but before I do anything, I want to go ahead and equip the um, shield we got from the Thunder Dragon, which I'm sure you guys would love to see. And it is my personal favourite shield in the game. Not just because it's the best shield in the game, but because it's sort of a little throwback Easter egg to um, previous Zelda games. And you'll see what that is in a minute once we take it from our lovely, lovely item check girl. I can't even remember her name, but... Oh, well. That's one of the perks of being silent, I suppose. Okay. So, we have, here, we have the Hylian Shield. Yep, it's uh, like a match of the ones from, I think, it's, I'm not sure if Majora's Mask is the Hylian Shield, but I know Ocarina of, or, um, Ocarina of Time is, sorry. So, I'll switch that with the uh, Divine Shield. You've done well, my son. You protected us through a lot of battles, and for that, I thank you. But, we've got this now, and it's so much better. So, if we equip this here, you'll see that it's got a cool little bar. It looks fucking awesome. And, um... Um, yeah, that bar will never go down. Uh, it's basically this shield is basically invincible. You will never, it will never break, which is fantastic, really. Too bad you can't get it earlier in the game because you know we're really going to be using it for the final boss fights. But oh well, we've still got one sort of dungeon to go. Now, if I'm correct, we actually have to go talk to the headmaster. But I already know where the other stone is. I do believe. Oh, I know where you got to place it. In fact, let me go talk to the headmaster anyway, just to make sure because. Um, I'm actually not sure how I did this bit the first time on my playthrough. Uh, but yeah, maybe the headmaster actually has it, because I'm not sure if it's already, um, if the second stone is already placed in an area I'm thinking of, but... Anyway, though. But yeah, the Highland Shield is exactly the same as it was in Ocarina of Time, apart from um, the little um, golden triangle at the bottom, because apparently that caused a lot of rumours about it, the Triforce actually having four pieces instead of three, so... Ever since Ocarina of Time, and I think Majora's Mask... Miyamoto was requested that the uh, fourth triangle on the shield be removed, just so it would debunk that rumour, I suppose, which is kind of weird, but... Oh, well, um... Wait, where was I going again? I forgot, where was I going? Oh, yeah, the headmaster, that's right. Goodness me! <laughs> ben, get your memory sorted out. Anyway, though, we're heading here. I hope he's got a speech of all, and he does not. Oh. Hello, Link, hope your search is progressing well. You need to find somewhere to insert the stone trials, you say? A gem. Yes, I do believe I've seen something like that that it might fit into, but I just can't recall where. Right, so, yeah. Um, screw it then. I I'll go to the place where I think it's supposed to be placed. Which, it... Well, I know where it's supposed to be placed. I just don't know if the other stone is there. Um, but, oh well. But yeah, the Stone of Trials, you know, like all the other uh, Goddess Gifts that we got, they were actually useful for quite a lot of things. The Stone of Trials is just useful for this one bit, which is kind of a shame, really. I wish it was like a, an item or something. 
Maybe like, not like the fierce deity, deity mask, like that overpowered, but you know, something like that. And you don't really get anything for really 100% in this game, um, that, that I remember anyway. You might get like a thank you for playing screen or something like that, I can't really remember, but you don't really get a lot for it really, because you can get the best shield in the game by not even 100% in it, all you have to do is that Thunder Dragon bit. Um, and that's about it really, so, mind you, I suppose you don't really get a reward for 100% in any Zelda game really, apart from the fierce deity mask in Majora's Mask, so... Anyway, let's head down here, and if we head over to that bird statue over there, we should see, I'm hoping, the second stone of trials, hopefully. And boom, it's there. Awesome. Right, so, if we examine it here. Oh, for God's sake, Link. <laughs> you've, you've hardly got any living space as it is, and I ain't destroying Skyloft. Well done. Report Master Link, my calculations indicate an 85% chance. Oh, that's it. If it's not like that, all with its 99.9% .9 chance of covering bacteria or whatever it is, I'm not going in there. Given this development, I project that the moment for Zelda to fulfill her destiny and bring an end to demise is close at hand. Okie dokie. Right, so let me just. Actually, are we fully protect. Prote Fully prepared. Fully prepared. Um, right, I really could do with filling up these bottles, couldn't I? Right, so I'll be right back with two potions of some sort. Um, and then I guess we'll head in there. Okay, so for the first time in this Let's Play, I'm actually using the Infusing Guide to make potions more powerful. Now, I've bought a Guardian Potion, but I didn't actually have enough um, of bugs to improve that, which isn't too bad because I'm not probably going to use it. But yeah, you can upgrade the heart potion twice. First time makes it so it restores all your hearts, and the second time makes it so it restores all your hearts, and you can use the potion twice. So it's a bit like, um, Lon Lon Milk, uh, from Ocarina of Time. Although, Lon Lon Milk don't restore all your hearts, I don't believe, but... Either way, though, it's fantastic, so, um, we're all prepared, really. We've got a fairy, a guardian potion, and, um, a double plus heart potion, so... Yep, we should be all good to go. So let me just head over there, then, and we'll get on our way. And I must admit, it is very convenient that, you know, well, actually, you know, the goddess must be pretty smart. She's given us the claw shot. She's uh, designed this statue to shoot up claw shot targets for us to get down there. I must say, she's very clever. Very clever gal. I uh, give um, kudos to Zelda. That's the word. Kudos. Bloody hell. Never used that word in my life, I don't believe. All right, so let's head down here then into the last dungeon, which actually isn't a dungeon. It's kind of um, like a trial sort of thing, but it isn't that long at all. It's more of a... The, the dungeon is one big puzzle, really, um, and I'm probably going to forget, so we're probably not going to be able to complete it in this episode, but, oh well, I can uh, check back and whatnot, so, let's head in here then. Okay. So here we have the last dungeon of the game, Skykeep. Now, personally, I don't really class this as a dungeon. 
so there's not going to be a bio for it. All I can say is it's one big puzzle and it can get a bit irritating. Alright, so can we actually get out of here? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we're not trapped or anything. Alright, I'll just activate that and we can actually get outside anyway with the bird statue. Okay, so let's go over here and open this chest. I do believe this will be a dungeon map to make this uh, easier for us. Yep, dungeon map. Nice one. Okay, okay. Yeah, so there we go. So now you know where... Um, well, you see there there's Triforce pieces which we need to get. And there's a puzzle in each room uh, for us to get there. Now, what you can do, Fee? Master, I have some information to report. I detected three sources of sacred power within this building. This power clearly radiates from the Triforce. I'll triangulate the three sources of power and mark them on your map as triangles. Alright, thanks for that. Right, so we can't go this way at the moment. As you can see, because there's no door there. Um, now, where we have to go... It's sort of weird how we have to arrange these. I don't believe we actually have to... Uh, well, I can't remember fighting the boss in this place, actually. I do believe we really have to get the Triforce pieces and get out, so... Anyway, if you go here, you can actually switch around the rooms. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. So, you can switch around to the one that you're not currently in. So, let's just switch this down here. And... I'm not really good at these puzzles, so you'll have to bear with me. Um... I really want to try and get to a Triforce piece straight away, but I think all we can do... Right, I'll just shift these around for a bit. Right, you go there, and boom! Alright, nice one. Uh, can I do any more of that, actually? Like, can I move you back and... No, I can't, can I? Oh, but hang on. No, you know what, just leave it as that for now. Because that'll, be that'll be the only room I can get uh, to in the Triforce anyway, so... Right, okay, let's leave it that, that for now. Master, I have information for you. Analysis indicates that the shaking you felt just now was caused by a change in the building structure. Now that the building structure has been altered, it appears you can enter the adjacent room. Okay, now I wonder what the crosses mean, actually. I think it means that's a control panel where the crosses are. So, hopefully I'm right there. But anyway, let's head through here. Okay, so, each room will sort of be like, um, reminiscent of a place you've been in the game. So, that's pretty cool, I suppose. Um, and I don't know why I'm wasting my time with this. Let's just carry on here. Now, there's going to be something in here that I'm going to have to do to open this gate, isn't there? Is there a whoop or anything? No? Okay. Um, oh, wait, hang on, there's some trees here. What's through here? Just some quadro barbers. Some really, really annoying quadro barbers. Oh, oh wow, a jelly blob. I need that now, don't I? It's a bit like rupees. You'll hear me complaining about, a lot about um, getting useless treasure and rupees now, because we don't need them. Right. Um, unless you want to go back and get some potions, of course. Okay, whip. Let me just whip here. Boom! And actually, I probably should have unhooked that first, so let me just go back here. And by unhook, I mean use the hook beetle to go over there. And unhook it. Alright. God, I can remember when I was getting uh, stuck in the, um, where was it? Was it the Sky Skyview Temple? Because I wasn't looking around properly. And Well, that went well, didn't it? I hope that's not a sign for things to come. Right, boom! Let's get this show on the road. Right, now I need to stop. Stop. Right, stop, Link. That's it, good boy. Now, swing. And ropes always seem to be, I don't know what it is, but... With ropes in video games, when you swing across them, they always seem to have a weird depth perception. Especially in the Tomb Raider games. Bloody hell, they are annoying, but... Anyway, let's have a look through here. Oh, shit! Fucking hell, I jumped out my skin! Oh, my goodness me, that, that shit me up so bad, I'm not even joking. Oh, oh, thank you for that, school chiller. Right, lunge! Right, thank you for that. Oh, Jesus, I've got goosebumps. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, um... Right, oh, I've got to defeat one of these guys. Right, can I actually lure you over here by shooting an arrow at you? Maybe I could just shoot an arrow at you anyway to kill you. Oh, yeah, I can. Nice one. Okay, fought that then. Right, let's just claw shot these bad... Let's just claw shot these bad boys. As I was about to say. And again. And what the hell are they? Are they... 
Are they sleeping? Oh, there's some of them things that breathe fire, aren't there? Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get around this way, so I need to go back around here and obviously get a bonfire on them, but can I actually do that when they're facing sideways? Oh, well, I'll try. Voila. Actually, those uh, crosses might be um, save statues on the map, so that's good, I suppose. Although, I don't think we're heading towards one, are we? Yeah, we are. There's one Yeah, there's one in the next room. Okay, then. Fair enough. Um, right, let's get a tough beetle out here, then, and see what we can do. Now, be careful, Ben. Be very careful. Nice. Nice going, Ben. Be very careful. Right, again. Come on. Right, boom. Now, let's just get this around here. And boom. Um, right, let me just... Uh, drop. And did that kill them all? Or did it only kill a few? I'm not too sure, actually. No, it killed them all. Okay, nice one. So, I would suggest aiming for the middle one. Right, so let's... Uh, whoa, steady on. Can I actually reach that from here? I hope I can. Oh yeah, Link, you bad boy. And, oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Not this Gus Bellows crap. I'm actually doing pretty well in this dungeon. I'm <laughs> quite surprised, to be honest. Right. Just blow. Blow me, sucker! And blow again. And I think that should probably do it. Right, okay. Just jump jump when it does it again. Right, come on. Swing. Oh, shit, no. Oh, damn it. Right, I'll try that again, then. Okay, I am across. All you have to do now is Gus Bellow this way. Right, come on, Ben. You're not even that far away from me. You could probably make it from here, actually. Right, just jump! Oh, oh you babe link! Right, let's have a look around. And a safe statue. Lovely jubblers. I'm, I've got one in the next room. No, we haven't. Okay, I might save it here then and come off, even though we're not that far into the episode. Well, I suppose we are. We, I'm estimating about 17 minutes at the moment. I hope that's right. Uh, let me just uh, whip this bitch. Right, there we go. Okay, so let's have a look for... Actually, would there, a, would there be a statue there? Because there's loads of butterflies. Let me just uh, strum it. Come on. Oh, got a swall even. Please don't say because I killed the butterflies, the statue isn't going to pop up. Oh, no, there was a goddess wall. Okay, right. So what do I need? You know what? I'm actually going to try... I don't really need anything, so I'm just going to try drawing a bomb again. Because I don't, can't believe I failed at that. Actually, no, I'll draw an arrow because I never really showed off how you drew an arrow, so... Anyway, you're supposed to draw an arrow like this. And then up, like that, like that, and like that. That's how I drew it, anyway. Yeah, so there you go. Of course, I'm pretty sure you can draw a perfect circle. Well, okay, a, a normal circle. I mean, who can draw a perfect circle? Anyway, though, in this part, we did what we did. We got into the Sky Keep, and in the next part... I think we're going to be possibly completing it because I will definitely know what I'm doing then. I've actually done pretty well for this first room. So, anyway though, I shall see you guys then.